Hi guys and welcome to a completely new walkthrough for Civilization V, a Brave New World DLC which has come out today in America and it's coming out on Friday in the rest of Europe and the UK and the rest of the world basically. So this is the new Civilization here, Portugal, which I picked. Basically this is really good at doing trade routes and stuff, we can get some more gold, twice as much gold as well, so that's quite awesome. Um, yeah, so Portugal's one of the new ones, lovely looking lady there as always. Right, so we've got Venice as well. I picked all the ones basically we're going to fight or compete against. Um, basically, I am going to just literally. I picked all the new ones. So I've got Indonesia, Venice, Poland, Morocco, just all of them basically. So Brazil's very good at culture, very good at tourism. Got Venice as well, which can only have one settlement. And you can get like these weird like trade people, which you can basically take over um, city states. So, yes, you can have. He doesn't have any settlers, you can't buy settlers, which is quite weird. Uh, Poland is good. What's Poland good at? Let's go and look. Okay. I think it's good at... Um, oh, we get a new policy every every era. Sorry. So that's quite cool. Um, you got quite a few now, haven't we? You've got Brazil, as we said there. Very, very good at tourism. So tourism is a new aspect of the game. Much like trade as well. So we're going to go straight into the game and let's get started. Blessings be upon you, most gracious Queen Maria, protector and sovereign of the Portuguese people. As the first ever Queen Regnant of Portugal, it was your wise stewardship that protected the royal court from the incursions of Napoleon, establishing a safe haven in Brazil to preserve the integrity of Portuguese rule. Despite struggling with illness throughout your reign, your efforts to ensure Portugal's close cooperation with Brazil are credited with helping that state gain its eventual independence. Well, 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 we could carry on forever doing that. I, I like listening to that bit, but I don't listen to the whole thing. Uh, we've got some ruins discovered over there. Um, I'm trying to think where the best thing would be to go. We've got some gems here. Some reduction over here as well. Uh, does that, that jungle looks different, or is that me? Anyway, thank you. Go away, go away. I'm going to search this ruin over here. Um, I might move the settlers over to here, I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them here, actually. I think that's quite a reasonable place, so I'm quite happy about that. Um, the first research we will do is mining, I think, I guess. Uh, I'm going to do a monument first. No, thank you, go away. Got some truffles, got some jungle, got some sugar as well. Some of you guys might notice, if you like pretty hardcore into this game, uh, there's no gold in the sea anymore, which sort of sucks, and in the rivers as well. Um, that's obviously a new thing to make it a little bit more even, but... I'm a little bit gutted, I'm a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, obviously we're in Lisbon, which is the capital of Portugal. Go away, I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, we're not really coming to anything new yet, so I know roughly what I'm doing. So, let's go to, yeah, I think the research is pretty much similar. Yes, go away, thank you. This is pretty much, this is all the, all the tech we can eventually get. I think it's pretty much similar, um, atomic theory and nuclear fusion and stuff like that. I think this might be different, I'm not sure. I don't recognise the internet. Or that one. Globalisation. So I don't recognise those, but the biggest one for me is this. This looks dramatically different. Uh, I've got exploration, which is in the middle e medieval era. I've got ideologies as well, which is in the modern era, sorry. So that's the first one we can pick. So that's the main thing we can do. So I've got even, that's completely new, that's just crazy. There's tons to pick. So, should be cool. Right, let's go next term. Also, let me know in the comments what your favourite civilization is. I find that quite a hard word to say at times. <laughs> right, let's move on. Let's go explore these ruins. Uh, next turn. I need to get some workers away as well, but. I mean, was perhaps try and find our first. Oh, archery for free. What's awesome. That's not a bad one to get. So, I might add you over to there. Keep it going. So I've just got the monument, which is finished, is quite soon. So I'm, I normally like to do scouts or workers next. That's what I tend to do. Um, you're probably wondering what this suitcase is up here. It's basically tourism. Uh, you get those from Great Works. Um, you can also get it from artifacts, which come up. I mean, that's a new thing as well. After you have like epic battles and stuff, basically like there just comes with artifacts, which you can eventually explore and get like um, culture, tourism from, and stuff like that. What's this? I don't recognise that. Oh, trade. Okay, that's fine. I understand. Lisbon has grown a bit, which is nice. 
Oh, we found a city state. Yes. Perfect. We've become friends with him. 30 gold. Nice. Is that what we want? Um, oh. We can pledge to protect, make him a bit friendly. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that stuff. Well, we can potentially get some trade stuff. Um, I think we need to get a trade ship. I think. Um, we could try now, actually. Let's quick check. Uh, da -da -da. We haven't got any cities we can trade with at the moment. Yeah, I think we need a trade ship. So what should we build next? Good question. I might go for scouts. Probably, that would, Some people would disagree with that, but I think it's probably the best... The best thing to do for now. Or oh, a map policy as well. Which one should we go for first? I normally tend to go for Liberty. Um, I mean, culture is going to be quite important though as well. Hmm. Traditional Liberty. That's the ones I tend to go for. I'm going to go for Liberty because I normally go for that. I like Liberty. It's awesome. Right, so we've got some more research to look at. Uh, I might go for... So we've done mining. Probably go for animals. Let's try and home those animals in. Yes, yeah, so I think we do need to get some trade ships going. Oh, hello. Nice. That looks like it's useful for. Um, I wonder if we get some ships actually. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go to research. The city screen provides Can't do that yet. When do we get ships? And Aha. Cargo ship. Let's go for that. Awesome. Let's change the directory for that. Best we can get the cargo gum in. A bit of trade between the city states. All good, all good, all good. Right. Obviously, there's a bit of jungle around here, so we are a bit slow walking around, but that's what the scouts are there for. So, yes. So, if you guys want to see this as a full series, all you got to do is let me know uh, by pressing that like button. And then I know. Um, let's get kind of explore this way. Oh, a bit of bananas, a bit of uh, spices. Always good. Um, definitely going for workers now. So, we've got um, 67 gold. I can't actually see what my research points are because I've got a massive number over the top of it because basically I'm recording this, <laughs> which is a bit annoying. Basically, my frame is per second. Oh god, there's a ruin now. Yeah, this is the game that I've played for about 100 hours. I play a lot online as well. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect at the game, but I have a bit of experience with it, which is always good. Ah, that could be useful. Get some workers, yes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I think I did put workers in there. I'm not sure. Right, let's zoom over here. There's plenty of jungle, which is good. Oh, there's workers there. Awesome. We have a worker. Um, not improved any tiles yet. Order your okay. worker to construct an improvement on a tile near one of your cities to gain an economic need... benefit. We need some mining. Get some gold. There we go. Oh, another one. Another city state. Awesome, 30 gold for the win. Uh, let's have gems and spices. That's good. Is that a ruin? Did we, was there a ruin there? There was a ruin there, wasn't there? Alright, I'm going to be friendly to you as well, why not? Place to protect. Let's get a nice bit of trade going. Uh, one question I do want to ask you guys, do you want me to see just me just own them by like attacking them? Or should I go for like a culture victory or something? Let me know. I've never really gone for culture victories. I want me to just do all that war, so... I don't know. It's a different take on it. Hello, Venice. Right. Have you come to trade? Why not? Uh, we could... Ooh, we can't do anything at the moment. Uh, demand. Can't we do want demand stuff. Discuss. Um, shall we declare friendship, maybe? I'm sorry, we haven't known each other long enough. Okay. That's fine, I guess. We can, just, can we discuss anything else? No. So obviously Venice is quite close to me. So I need to be quite careful because they Venice could come by and just buy the city states outright, which is a bit um a bit I don't know, it's a bit like a bit daunting, isn't it? So let's be careful about that. Right, so can we do mining yet? Why not? Ah, bronze working, okay, that's fine. So what can we do? We can't do jungle yet. Uh so quick what I've researched. I don't know what I can do yet. That sucks. What if we buy a tile maybe? Buy a tile there. 
Not always the best thing to do at the first, but I need to get some sort of some sort of food down. There we go. Next turn. Got some sheepies up there for production. Got some sugar from some spices and stuff. Let's go around here. Yeah, basically what I'm trying to do here is just basically try and explore the map as much as possible. I've got some salts there as well. There's plenty of resources around here, which is good. Oh, they've got gems. Mmm. Sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Basically, there's like, um... Oh, pottery. Oh, so. And there we go, straight onto sailing. So we're trying to get cargo ships. Basically, we can, like, uh, link up stuff so we can get trade between cities. Um, which is going to be awesome. Oh, going to the wrong one here. Uh, I might go up here-ish. Oh, another one. You use us to find loads of them. Gold, jewellery, wine, wowzers. Okay. That's cool. Uh, we could pledge to protect these ones as well. Just be nice and friendly to everyone. For now, anyway. Who knows? You guys might want more, so. I'm just following these guys. Oh, there they are. Look, that's Venice, I think. God, they're quite close to me. They're quite close. I guess Venice will be my first pull to call. Perhaps attack them. Perhaps get friendly with them. Perhaps do some trading. That's the plan, anyway. Alright, so what can we do now? I think we need a um, calendar or something for that. Yeah, I think we do. Hmm. What can I do now? I might have to buy another tile, which is a bit annoying. Buy another tile, just for me. Or we could get a mine. Let's get a mine, why not? My city's slowly getting bigger. <laughs> Maybe I'm buying tiles. So that's obviously where Venice is. They've got salt, which is quite annoying. So I could put a city right there and sort of annoy them a bit, which probably wouldn't be the best idea. But you get the general idea. Uh, right. I'm at the top, apparently. Okay. I'm quite happy about that. With my free. <laughs> right. Build a mine for me, please. Basically, that's going to help with production. So I can build stuff quicker. That's what mines are good for. Um, I'm tempted to get another city quite soon, but we'll see. I know we tend to wait for the Liberty to come by. Let's next turn it. Uh, trespassing. Oh god. Poland? Where the hell's Poland? Oops. Can we trade anything yet? We can trade with like, literally nothing. Um, yeah, I need to get some more like research and stuff. Discuss. Goodbye. Let's go be friendly with them. So that's the Portuguese. Not Portuguese. Poland, sorry. I'm, not, I'm the Portuguese. Getting so confused. Right, I guess we didn't really need two workers, did we? Hmm. Could have perhaps change that. So I'm going to get a... Ooh, which go for next? A shrine for faith. You never know what to go for next. Perhaps we go for some warriors, maybe? Or some settlers. I'm going to go for a shrine. Why not? We've got a new map policy as well. So I'm going to go for... Ooh... Let's go for production. Let's improve my production. Good old Liberty. I do love it. I'm going to find the... Um... Oh man, this is getting a bit dodgy up here already, isn't it? This could cause some problems. I don't think we can do this yet, but... You never know. Got so much stuff to research already. Well, I don't want to go in there, because that's going to annoy them. So perhaps we should go around here. Yeah, there's no barbarians on this one because I hate barbarians with a severe passion. You know, it does make the beginning game a little bit more interesting. For me, it just annoys me a lot. So, that's why I decided to go for that. Uh, let's go over there. I might have to buy some more tiles. Right. Oh, I could just delete the workers and get some money. That's always fun. Oh, ruins discovered. What is this? Nice. We can do it next. Uh, you can go up there, ready for when we've actually researched it. And next turn. Thank you, go away, you stupid forms. Yeah, I don't feel like this DLC has probably made the uh, over experience better. As in, it just feels like it's completed the game a bit. Ratio, uh, ratio. Let's go up here to do a bit more scouting. It's quite dizzy up here. I might delete one of these units. Seems a bit pointless, doesn't it? Delete! And you can just stay there for now. Next turn. Ruins discovered to found two. Crudely drawn map. Great. 
Basically, that just sort of opens the map out. Oh, who's this? Oh my god, it feels like everyone's very, very close to me. Perhaps I should have gone for a bigger map. Got another bit. Oh god, there's two. Jesus. So I can go over there. Next turn. So what colour is that? I'm not sure who that might be. Sailing. Oh yeah. Let's go to um. Need to get a tr cut. Oh my god, they take so long to make. Let's get to that. Can we like make it production focus maybe? Can that help. Eight. <laughs> Perhaps that's not the best idea. Right, choose new research. We're gonna go four. Ooh, should we go four next? Let's finish this off. So we can nick the sheep. Nicking sheep's always awesome. Just, just be patient, my dear friend. Be patient. Yeah, we can get the, the little piggies as well, which will be useful. Oh, hello. That's who it was. Oh, we can't really do much. We can have a quick look at his gold and stuff. But... Uh, I don't want to do that, really. Uh, goodbye, my dear friend. We'll talk soon. Um, yeah, you have to stay there for now, annoyingly. Next turn you can actually do something. That's the main thing. Right, up there. I'm throwing these guys to these Venice warriors. Just follow them right behind. Yeah, I need to get my, my religion going as well. Uh, let's see, nick those sheepies. Oh, who's this? I'm completely surrounded. This is going to be some epic duel fight. Jesus. We're just like utterly surrounded. Uh, we should go for a calendar next, I guess. Next turn. Next turn. Well, this must be the Polish. The Polish. The Polish get basically a new policy every every era. Which I think is actually quite overpowered, to be honest. I mean, it's quite crazy. But hopefully we can um, do something with that. Right, so you can see we've got two cities we can trade with. Um, obviously we don't have anything to trade with at the moment. No cargo ships. No donkeys. <laughs> Trading donkeys. Oh, 80 gold. Nice. Um, can't go over there yet because it's got water in between. Also, this is, there's so much ruins around here. Do you guys think I should have done the map a bit bigger? <laughs> it feels like it's that I'm surrounded by everyone. Lisbon has grown. Looks like Poland's got some um, got some deer. Let's go up this way. You can go over to there for me. I guess we can... All oh, population has, gr has grown. Because we found a random ruin. Awesome. Next turn. Yeah, once I get these trades sort sorted out, I think this will be... This should start going quite well. I'm going to go... Up to there. Got some dyes and stuff over here. But again, if I, I feel like if I, if I go new anyone, it's going to cause war. So I have to be very, very careful indeed. I think this could go absolutely chaotic. Alright, so what can I do with you guys? You can get these piggies for me. A bit of gold and stuff as well, which is nice. You guys can go up to here. Oh, it's getting snowy in Poland. Oh no. See, I'm tempted to build another city quite soon, because the area is going to be quite filled up quite quick, so... Since I lost my voice a bit today, don't know why. Right, next turn. Need more orders. You guys can go over to there. So I keep trying to explore, open the map up. Basically, if we find all of the nations very, very quickly, it should do us quite well. Uh, I've now have calendar available. Ah, oh, sweet. The production's improving quite quickly. Good, good, good. Cannot do that yet. Damn it. Oh, is, it more, is that trapping? Oops! Damn it. Okay. That's ruined my plans. I can should be able to do spices. Sorry about that. Got all my all mixed up. Uh, so chap in writing. Um, that's a new one. Statue of Zeus. Wowzers. It's basically um, requires honor. Okay, I don't have that, so we'll ignore that for now. Uh, what should we go for next? Go for writing next. I think. Just trying to get my science up. Or oh, new city state, Singapore. Awesome. 
Yeah, most of the city states are like basically like Singapore, Sydney, stuff like that. So cities that Venice, I think Venice might used to be actually. I don't want. Oh my god, Polish scouts. Not good. Not good. I've right, got the cargo ship. He's doing it in one one turn, and we finished the cargo ship. I can't wait. Our first bit of trading. Awesome. There's no battles at the moment, but we have no combat units defending our territory. Oh, no, that is true. Okay, so we can um, change home city, establish trading route. So we have city states. Um, I guess we do this one. Yeah. Basically, there's a bit of a trade going between those two. So that gets us 1.3 gold and 2 gold going out. Okay. So what's that? Your revenue. Okay, so it's not getting us a lot at the moment, but hopefully when our city state grows, things should hopefully get better. Um, open the technology up. So I'm not sure if we need to get to stables. Yeah, land trading routes. So we need to get to horse riding as well. So after, uh, after riding, we go for the horse riding. That should help that as well. Let's choose production. I'm going to go for... Ooh, Stonehenge. That's tempting. Uh, let's go for this one. This will basically establish trading routes between land. Which will be good. So we can get um, gold. You can also deliver food and production. Let's go for that, why not? Awesome. I've right, got some whales over there. I think this might end it on this turn because I'm being attacked by window cleaners. That sounds so odd, but anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's some noise in the background. I'll see you guys very soon indeed. Press that like button, leave a comment below, and I'll do some more of this game, definitely. Goodbye.